Some words from the uh, New Testament reading for morning prayer from the St. Luke's Gospel. When he noticed how the guests chose the places of honour, he told them a parable. When you are invited by someone to a wedding banquet, do not sit down at the place of honour in case someone more distinguished than you has been invited by your host. And the host who invited both of you may come and say to you, give this person your place, and then in discretion you would start to take the lowest place. But when you are invited, go and sit down at the lowest place, so that when your host comes he may say to you, friend, move up higher, then you will be honoured in the presence of all who sit at table with you. For all who exalt themselves will be humbled, and those who humble themselves will be exalted. Some very wise words in these interesting times. My heart goes out to all those who have organised weddings of this time and have had to cancel them because of the, the lockdown. I know an awful lot of people who experience financial loss, but they've also experienced, more importantly, emotional loss, and I think our prayer should be with them. I think also those people who have not been able to have their children baptised because of the lockdown, and all these very important um, family events and rites of passage events which have not been able to take place. I also think of all those people whose funerals have been curtailed because of the restriction of numbers, but how we are, are hoping to have celebrations of, their, of the lives of those who have passed away by having great services of thanksgiving for the life and memorial services when we are able to do that. And so we pray for all those who are in need at this time. Lord, you have taught us that all our doings without love are nothing worth. Send your Holy Spirit to pour into our hearts that most excellent gift of love, the true bond of peace and of all virtues, without which whoever lives is counted dead before you. Grant this for your only Son, Jesus Christ's sake, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Faithful Creator, whose mercy never fails, deepen our faithfulness to you and to your living word, Jesus Christ our Lord. And may the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always.